from yesterday to tomorrow. That's their motto and everything in between. <laughs> I reported the pogey in 1990. I was a brand new chief petty officer. It was a really tight knit crew. The chief of the boat is a wonderful man and I stay in touch with him and three or four of the other guys that I served with. This is a Sturgeon class submarine, a 637 class submarine. Probably one of the safest submarines we ever built. It's got five compartments and you're probably gonna make it to the surface even if you have a problem with one of them. One thing about being a submariner, you spend a lot of time underwater and every once in a while you get a new guy. And one time we got a new guy and we went to sea and the new guy's trying to do good and he wants to fit in and so like the first couple of weeks, everybody makes him think he's fitting in. But this is called the setup. Then one day over the ship's 1MC, the public address system, the words came across, the ship will be shooting a water slug. New guy, report to control. New guy goes up there and the executive officer says, put on your yellow radiation suit and your personal breathing apparatus because you're gonna go get the port water slug. And the captain says, you be careful with that port water slug because it's radioactive. Now we do a lot of drills on submarines. We pretend fighting fires, we pretend to stop the flooding and we pretend to take care of radiation problems. The new guy goes back with his cumbersome outfit on. They hand him a bag of red water. <laughs> As he's coming up the ship to bring it to the torpedo room, the biggest guy on the ship accidentally runs into him and the red water goes all over him. And then the guy picks up the microphone and says, radioactive spill in the tunnel and the new guy is completely contaminated. And then the new guy is told to get into the captain's shower and scrub, scrub that radiation off. And he's in there scrubbing and scrubbing. And then a guy goes in with a Geiger counter. It's going, ah, he goes, you gotta scrub harder. And he hands him a scouring pad. <laughs> well, after four layers of skin are removed, he is deemed clean. <laughs> and then he goes down and gets a bowl of soup. And somebody comes up to him and says, hey man, Nice job on the drill. The drill, that's what life is like sometimes underneath the ocean. Pogi was a great ship. I miss her, I miss my friends, and I'll cherish this coin for the rest of my life.